In her address, Prophetic Obedience, the Experience and Vision of Roman Catholic Women Priests, to the Southeast Pennsylvania Women's Ordination Conference in March 2005, Bishop Patricia Friesen said, Now we in the church are on another long walk to freedom, this time freedom from sexism, from unjust discrimination against women in the church, freedom from oppression by the privileged clerical caste in the church. Once again, we need to stand together in protest to break the unjust laws because we cannot wait forever and we need at least at the beginning to move into the structures that exist and change them. It is time for holy disobedience. As Cardinal Walter Casper, the former Bishop of Rottenburg, Stuttgart, Germany, and currently President of the Vatican's Pontifical Council for Promoting Christian Unity wrote, Quote, some situations oblige one to obey God and one's own conscience rather than the leaders of the church. Indeed, one may even be obliged to accept excommunication rather than act against one's conscience. End of quote. In obedience to the gospel of Jesus, we in the Roman Catholic women priest community are disobeying an unjust law that discriminates against women. Canon 1024 states that only a baptized male may receive holy orders. This is in contradiction to Canon 849, which states that baptism is the gateway to the sacraments, which includes holy orders. Baptism is the foundation for the validity of holy orders, not male gender. Thus, Canon 1024 denies full membership to women in the church and contradicts Canon 849, which opens all the sacraments to all members of the church. In other words, the sacrament of baptism makes us equals in Christ. St. Paul taught, and I quote, as many of you as were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is no longer Jew or Greek, there is no longer servant or free. There is no longer male and female. For all of you are one in Christ Jesus. End of quote. Galatians 3, 28. For 1,200 years, some popes, bishops, and scholars accepted women's ordination as equal to men's. In the 10th century, Bishop Atto of Vercelli wrote about the early church practice of ordaining women to preside over the churches because of the great need. In 1976, the Pontifical Biblical Commission concluded that there is no biblical reason to prohibit women's ordination. Pope John Paul II contradicted the earlier tradition of women in priestly ministry when he wrote, quote, the church has no authority whatsoever to confer priestly ordination on women and this judgment is to be definitively held by all the church's faithful." End of quote. However, Pope John Paul II did not consult the people of God, including the theologians and the bishops, before issuing this decree. The church teaches that infallible teaching must reflect the sense of the faithful. Therefore, this teaching is not infallible because it does not reflect the census fidelum, the sense of the faithful, the faith of the believing community. In fact, according to recent surveys, about 70% of Catholics approve of women's ordination, including some of the world's bishops. People ask, but what of your vows of obedience? To a child, obedience is doing what you are told. For an adult, obedience is discerning and following God's direction for our lives. Roman Catholic women priests do not take a vow of obedience to a bishop. Our obedience is to the gospel as we discern together God's guidance for our community. Women and men are created in God's image and both may represent Christ as priest. Women as priest remind us that women are equal symbols of the holy and that the identity of priests should reflect the experiences and spiritual authority of women. 
Women priests helped the church to recognize women's rightful place as equals in the governing structures of the church. Patriarchy's dark lie that women are more responsible for the fall of humankind has been smashed as women in priestly ministry defy an unjust law that keeps women subordinate in the Catholic Church. The Church cannot continue to discriminate against women and blame God for it. Reclaiming our ancient spiritual heritage, women priests are shaping a more inclusive, Christ-centered Church of Equals in the 21st century.